What's poppin' YouTube and welcome to my channel, Astro Finesse. It's your boy Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie. Back with another video for y'all. In this video, we're talking about if you have a Scorpio rising. And now pause for the cause. If you're just starting off this spiritual journey, if you just start hearing about astrology, if you don't understand how imperatively, urgently, drastically important, I'm getting close to y'all can like, see the dramatics. Drastically important <laughs> it is to study yourself through astrology. There's a couple of videos I put in the description box. You gotta watch them first to become hip to the knowledge of what I'm gonna talk about right now. It's like the introduction stages of astrology. So if you look your if you looked at your birth chart, you looked at your natal chart, and you realize you're a Scorpio rising, this video is for you. So without further ado, do let's just get it popping, shall we? Now Scorpio risings, whew, Scorpio energy in general, you already know we're going back at it again. Scorpio energies, very intense. I fuck with y'all heavy. I really connect with Scorpio energies. I don't know why, but I really fuck with Scorpio energy. But I'm gonna give y'all a list of some celebrities so y'all can visually see what Scorpio rising look like and act like in reality. So as I'm saying this list, I want y'all to really pay attention to the eyes of these people. Cause the Scorpio risings, that's their weapon for um for desire. That's a weapon for attraction is their eyes. They have very intense magnetic eyes. So peep. First we got Justin Bieber. We got Missy Elliott, your boy Tyrese, Prince, Diana Ross, Aretha Franklin, Tom Cruise, Mike Tyson, Jessica Simpson, Jim Carrey, Janet Jackson, Robin Williams, and Jaden Smith. So now boom, Scorpio Rising. If you don't know what a rising sign is, I'm gonna give y'all like a little brief introduction. I want y'all to picture like getting a package, right? And the wrapper, the gift wrap paper is your rising sign. That's the first thing you see when you see that package. In this case, we're talking about Scorpio rising. So it'll probably be like all black. Scorpio risings love presenting themselves wearing black. So picture like a black gift wrap paper. That's a rising sign. Scorpio rising, gift wrap paper, black. You take off that wrapping paper, you open the box, and let's say it's a Michael Kors watch. The name Michael Kors, like that brand name, that general item, like the item you're holding, is your sun sign. So, Michael Kors is the sun sign, basically. You look inside of the watch into what makes the watch tick, the gears, and all the, all the, all the, um, intricities, I guess that's the word you could say, inside the watch that make it work, is the moon sign. That's like your inner self. The gift wrap paper is a rising sign. That's what you first see when you get the package. When you first meet somebody, you meet their rising sign. Then you take off the gift wrap paper. In this case, it's gonna be all black. Like I said, Scorpio Rising is gonna be all black. You take out the item in the box is a Michael Kors watch. You meet somebody past their rising sign, you meet their sun sign, that's like their brand name, that's like their core energy, Michael Kors watch. You look inside the watch and you can see how the, the tick, how everything ticks. You can see the numbers on the watch, you can see the designs. Inside the watch, like what's inside the watch, the inner self of the watch is like the moon sign. Moon sign represents your inner self, your emotional self. That's a very important to understand these three things about yourself, your sun sign, moon sign, and rising sign. Give you like a core understanding of the energies that you have and what you can offer to the world. So now if you're a Scorpio rising, the first thing I think about when I think about Scorpio risings is very, very intense energy. You have like a lot of intense energy and then y'all like wrap it up and y'all gift it in a very calm, low key, cool, calm, collected manner. And you, you have like, like Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto. So Mars is a the, is the, uh, god of war. Mars is ruled by Aries. So see that Aries energy. Aries is all about conquering, all about war, all about fighting, aggression, all that energy. Adding to the Pluto aspect. And Pluto is like the farthest planet away from the sun. So it's the darkest planet. So Scorpio Rising, y'all have all this like aggression, all this passion. You have all this intense energy covered up with that Pluto-ness. So it makes it like, it covers up in like a darkness basically. So like y'all look like y'all y'all like very cool calm collected but then when you look into the eyes like the intensity you can never hide it like i can always spot a scorpio rising because first of all i'm the type i'm a very low-key person in public i like to analyze my surroundings and all that very like analytical like that so when i, I can notice a scorpio rising because they're doing the same exact thing like i look around i see people people being themselves being all loud and all that and i see somebody that's very low-key see somebody that's also doing exactly what I'm doing, observing things, 
and then when we make eye contact with Scorpio rising, like that intensity, y'all have this thing where you could like laser focus on something and just stare at it. And like, you can really like see through it. Like when I'm dealing with Scorpio rising women, like they can really look at you and that's how they get you. Like for real, like low key, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. Low key Scorpio rising females, y'all are my weakness. Low key, it's very hard to like resist a Scorpio rising because they can look at you in your eyes, right? And they can really see basically you can see through your soul like you really focus and see everything about you like they really they really like to um study and like uncover things that are hidden they really like to get down to the real shit they hate superficial conversations small talk they hate the fake they like to get down to the real deep deepness of life the depth depthness of life so they do that through their eyes so you can always tell by how intense a scorpio's rising eyes are and how they can stare at something they want and they don't have to say nothing. They could just stare at it. And then you'll feel like, damn, this person is like really looking at my whole soul. They could see everything about me. They could really like uncover you through their eyes. So they're also very, very extremely intense. Extremely intense on the inside. But they always like to have emotional, it's called emotional intelligence. They're really good at controlling their emotions outwardly. So to, to, to a lot of people, they're very low key very quiet they look like they're shy and all that but knowing damn well scorpio risings y'all are really out analyzing and like really trying to uncover the truth about everything trying to like uncover the depthness about everything y'all are really intense like that and that's how y'all move that's how y'all operate is like you want to not let people know who you are at first like you really want to like you want to uncover people's true intentions before you you allow yourself to be vulnerable kind of thing which is why I do fuck with y'all heavy because I'm the same way. It's not not supposed to be the type of person that goes out and tell your business about to everybody and anybody. You want to be like guarded of your energy and really analyze people before you like open yourself up to people. And that's what y'all are really good at. Y'all are really good at making sure before you open up to somebody that that person obviously um, deserves your energy. Like that person is um, can handle your energy because y'all are very intense. So y'all give people tests and all that emotional tests to see if they can handle your intense energy. So, Scorpio Risings, the eyes is the biggest thing y'all want to notice when you're looking at a Scorpio Rising. Very, very intense eyes. They have this very magnetic vibration, vibe off them. Like, they give off this, like, it's just magnetic. Like I said, like, it's like my weakness. Like, I can't, I, I don't know. Like, Scorpio is ruled by um, the genitals, so it's very, sex, very sexual. So, I said in my last video that Libra Rising is the most physically attractive because they have, like, the symmetrical face. Scorpio risings are the most sexually attractive hands down no matter what like they could they they could just sit in one spot and just be chilling and they just radiate sexual magnetic energy that's how like intense they are that's how intense the Scorpio energy is that's how intense that Pluto energy is mixed with the Mars the aggression mixed with that darkness and that underworld Pluto put together is just like Scorpio energy hands down so a lot of people off of first impression, you probably would realize would be like intimidated by you if they can't handle all that intensity. You probably notice that when you're walking, like you're probably like a really nice person or really good hearted person, depending on your sun sign, moon sign, everything else. You're probably like a really good person, but then you walk in a room and you can notice that people are like repelled by you sometimes because your presence alone is just so, so powerful and so prominent and so intense that if people can't handle it, people are they're scared like people are afraid of the dark people are afraid to get deep in things which i do which i hate because i'm all about getting in depth and knowing about true trueness of life and knowing about everything that needs to be that has been like hidden from us i'm all about getting deep and i hate small talk scorpio risings hate small talk they hate superficial conversations they hate fake people they like to get into deep conversations into deep knowledge they want to know the real shit, which is why they're really into like the cult knowledge astrology like things that have been hidden from us they're really into studying that something that has been hidden from us they're like nah i'm about to focus on that heavy because it's been hidden like they're really intrigued by things that are hidden so people might perceive you when they first meet you as you're intimidating because that presence you have is that you're very serious and you're like i said i'm gonna keep saying this the eyes yo like the eyes are they can really grab you like bro <clears throat> Scorpio rising women are so magnetic with their eyes is really crazy. But I'm gonna get I'm gonna get off the eye topic for right now. But I just wanna make make sure y'all really understand it's being a Scorpio rising that that's your power is like you could really 
get what you want through like through just like laser eye focusing on what you want now every sign has two words or a phrase that describes them and by scorpio it's i desire or i lust so basically i desire whatever they desire whatever they they really like are passionate about deep down inside they are driven and they become obsessed with that desire like they really get what they want like whatever you're passionate about you're probably a hundred percent full effort into whatever you want like whatever you're passionate about they get whatever they want internally like they have that laser eye focus they have that willpower like i said in my scorpio video they have that willpower to get what they want they're very very internally and emotionally intelligent so they can really control their outer emotions so they're very strong so they can really desire something and all that intense energy builds up so it becomes like an obsession like they become obsessed with what they love and what they desire kind of thing that's how they get what they want because they can look like they cool calm collected they chilling but then their their mind is just so passionate and so intense their eyes are just so passionate so intense they exude the sexual energy that people people are people are drawn to you or they repel you there's no in between either people are like damn she's so sexy or he's so fine whatever or damn this person is so scary or i'm very like i feel uncomfortable it's like there's no in between personally i'm the type that i'm really like drawn to scorpio rising women i don't know why but like i think it's a mysterious factor y'all just so mysterious because y'all don't like to tell people your business you don't like to open up to people like that you're very like guarded on your energy and your secrets they say y'all secretive y'all really know how to like hold something inside and not let people know what's going on type thing because you don't trust nobody and that's how it should be you're not supposed to just trust everybody and tell them everything so y'all really understand how important it is to hold things in to have secrets to have your own like your own energy that's for yourself that nobody else knows so y'all really good at doing that in return people look at you they could be intimidated by y'all sometimes or be very drawn to you it's like no in between there's no in between now like i said when i was talking about the rising sign like they uh they like to wear like darker clothing remember pluto farthest planet from the sun so it's the darkest planet so they like you have like a really like dark kind of exterior sometimes depending on your sun sign and moon sign but you have like you kind of give off this like this like darker energy this like very like i'm not here for the super the superficiality of things i'm not here to be all sunshine and goody two shoes and all that i'm really like focused on what i'm focused on and i'm and i'm getting what i want and i'm not here to play games that's kind of energy you give off so whenever you're like walking in a, in a room for the first time and you see people like not really gravitating towards you or running away from you kind of thing, it's because you have this strong, very powerful presence about yourself. So don't feel bad. Don't feel like people don't like you or don't feel bad about yourself. It's just that they can't handle your energy like that. So it's not your fault. It's how you're made. But understand that you have very powerful, intense energy to you and you're very transformative energy. Like you're always changing always transforming something and you're here to transform people now let's break y'all up real quick and let's talk about the houses to see like <clears throat> how y'all internally made up real quick so um aries is the first sign of the zodiac so the first house is aries it's i am so scorpio is in your first house so you feel like i am a scorpio you present yourself like a scorpio now the fourth house the fourth sign is cancer so the fourth house represents cancer type things which is like what you hold internally what you hold dear to you in your heart your childhood your family life and now your fourth house is in Aquarius and you already know how I feel about Aquarius so your childhood you were probably like really detached or you always felt like you're always like weird and wherever you were like in your childhood growing up and internally just feel like you're just different and weird like you keep that internally you know like you're just very different and weird you probably felt like you were detached from from people around you like when you were younger so you keep that internally inside like you you internally know that you're really different and really weird internally like you keep that inside probably in your childhood your parents or your family like really were detached from you or you always you went through something that made you feel like you just nobody understands me like nobody really knows who i am that's the aquarius it's detached very different very weird kind of um kind of energy like very detached and very weird kind of energy in the fourth house in your internal what you hold dear and close to you in your heart now in your seventh house seventh house the seventh sign is a, is a libra libra represents scales the balance relationships partnerships so your seventh house is in taurus so that means that's like what you're attracted to 
that's the kind of person you should try to like be in a relationship or a marriage with. Now, Taurus energy is very stable. Taurus don't like to change. Taurus, you know what the Taurus is gonna do because they really like practical and they really do this like routine like, and they really feel comfortable when they have when they have everything they need like material wise too and money wise. They feel comfortable and they're stable and they're loyal, which is the biggest thing for Scorpio people. They they need somebody that is loyal and Tauruses are very loyal. Scorpios hate people that betray them. They hate people that are fickle, that are flighty. So having Taurus in your seventh house, you're attracted to the Taurus energy, to somebody that's loyal, somebody that's the rock. And because low key, y'all are not the most like stable because Scorpio being ruled by Pluto, Pluto is a transformative planet. In your life, things have always been flipping upside down no matter what for your life to change and transform. Like you feel like your life is like not stable sometimes because it just changes. Like things happen to y'all and it happens for a reason. Just, everything happens for a reason. So it happens for a reason. Like tragedies happen, all that to teach you something, to make you grow, to transform you. So everything happens for a reason. But because y'all life sometimes is not as stable as it should be, you desire and you need somebody that's a stable rock like a Taurus that will help balance it out. In return, Taurus is so, so stable, so, so like does the same thing every day, so stuck in their ways. They need somebody that can like bring them out of that. Like, look, we could change a little bit, we could transform a little bit, do something different. You don't have to be the same thing every single day. So like y'all balance each other out because one is extremely stable, extremely like, extremely does the same thing. And one is kind of like not stable and they both come together and balance each other out. And y'all can annoy each other too because the Taurus will look at you like, damn like you're really not like really not stable like that you're always you're all over the place sometimes like you're not really like stuck in one thing and a scorpio will look at a taurus like damn you're really like doing the same thing like you're not going to transform you're not going to change a little bit but if y'all can find an even balance to balance each other out that's like the perfect like harmony or matrimony basically so now your 10th house the 10th sign is represented by capricorn capricorns like to climb to the top of success so 10th house is like Represents your career. It's on the top of the chart. So represents your career and your 10th house is in Leo So that means that when it comes to your career, what kind of uh, profession you like to do You want to do something that first of all gives you pleasure now Leo is a, is a fifth sign Leo is like represented by um Leo's love to have fun. Leo's the sun. They love to have fun. They love having pleasure So you need a career that gives you pleasure at the same time allows you to shine and be who you are like Y'all don't want to have to like hide who you are. Remember that fourth house Aquarius? Cause you know, deep down inside, y'all are very weird low key. And I fuck with weird people. I fuck with Aquarius energy. I fuck with y'all weirdness. Like being weird is so dope. Like be weird. Like being weird is being yourself and not caring what nobody thinks. Like that's cool as fuck. But fourth house being Aquarius, y'all know y'all really like weird like that. So when it comes to your career, you need a career that will allow you to be yourself and allow you to shine. Cause the, because the Leos are the sun, they shine. So it allows you to shine freely, to have pleasure in what you're doing, and just to like really be free in what you're doing career-wise. Like having to be like, it doesn't have to be the center of attention, but whatever you do, you want people to appreciate what you're doing like career-wise and really appreciate you for what you do. And you need to have pleasure in your job. You can't be the type to work a mundane nine to five that you do not like and just doing it for the money. Y'all not the type to be stuck in just like the matrix, working nine to five in a job you don't like because it's not going to fulfill you. You're going to feel some type of way. You need something that you feel pleasure in doing, something that you have fun in doing, something that will give you like, give you a lot of like, a lot of shine and a lot of attention when it comes to your career. So when it comes to physical attributes, I talked about the eyes, very intense eyes. They wear like darker clothing and the sexual energy exudes off of their body. Scorpio Risings, yo. Y'all just like the sexiest sign, hands down. Libra Rising is the most physically attractive. Scorpio Rising is the most sexiest. They have like, they could really be like um, chinky eye too, just like the Libra Rising. They could really be chinky eyed a little bit. But like I said, if you know if you know Scorpio Rising, stare at them for the longest for as long as you can and see how long you can last. I bet you they're gonna beat you in the stare, stare down contest because they really have like the laser eye focus that is unmatched. And when they want something. They really like manifest it by desiring it. And when they desire it, that passion builds up and all that energy, intense energy builds up and they can really get what they want, but they look like they're not doing nothing, but they could just like get you to come to them. Basically, they could get you to come to them. Like 
you can't resist me like I know you can't resist me come here kind of thing they don't have to always go out and get what they want they can sit back and just chill and their energy their their um, vibration they give off is just magnetic and sexual people are attracted to that sexual energy they can just get what they want by just like staring at you and you just feel you just feel like damn like I'm just like hypnotized I gotta go towards that Scorpio rising so yeah y'all really <laughs> y'all really powerful like that y'all could be very manipulative with that energy I'm gonna say this again universe goes in two ways so if you want to be manipulative and want to like manipulate people for your own personal gain the universe is going to pay you back so you want to be like you want to be careful that not you're not trying to like manipulate people like that's not your true intentions is to manipulate people because you have that power to like really you can really get what you want yo it's really crazy just by staring at something or really like desiring it you can really let you can really like look into the soul of somebody and like really like really control them kind of thing it's kind of it's like really powerful like scrubber energy is like really powerful like when it comes to like manipulating and really like having influence without doing nothing but just being themselves and just being chill and low-key you can really like really grasp somebody's like attention and get them to do what you want you can really have people fall in love with you like quick fast they really like they really like are really good at looking at somebody and they can read they can like read minds and like feel hearts they can read your mind and it can feel what you're feeling like it's impossible to look at a Scorpio rising and not feel like they're really looking into your soul. Like they really could see your whole energy and they could really see all that. They see you before you see them. Understand that. They peep shit before you even come up to them. They, they, they've been noticed you. They've been seeing you. They've been analyzed you. They've been studied you. They're all about studying humanity and studying like human interactions and all that. So that was my Scorpio rising video. Hope y'all enjoyed that. My next video is going to be on the Sagittarius rising. So um, if you subscribe to my channel, you already know I fuck with y'all heavy. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and handle that one time for your boy. I'm going to keep these videos coming. Drink your water. Mind your business. Be safe out here. It's your boy Lil Finesse, Jiggy Hippie. I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all.